State environmental officials got an earful Wednesday night during a public hearing in Toms River, where residents criticized a new settlement proposal for the former Sibagaygi property, now a Superfund site controlled by the company BASF, decrying a lack of input from those most affected and little transparency. Ted Goldberg has the story. How do you account for all the people who died as a result of the cancers that they you know, contracted from what went on here to even consider letting people come onto this property is absolutely insane. People in Tom's River are skeptical, to say the least, about a proposed settlement between New Jersey and BASF, the company that owns the Sibagaygi Superfund site. The infamous chemical plant polluted groundwater for decades, resulting in a $13 million settlement for families affected by cancer. I also come here today as a niece of a Sibagagi employee who died a few months ago. He had a very rare form of kidney cancer. He ended up with lung cancer. My uncle used to come home and in the summer he would sweat the color of the dye that he was working with every day. And his kids would joke about it. This settlement proposal addresses damage to the environment. BASF would pay $100,000 and most of the Sibagaygi site would become an open space after cleanup. The state has claimed that not all of the land is contaminated. Last night, people in Tom's River told the DEP that they don't think the proposal goes far enough and they don't fully believe the DEP. How do we know it's safe? We, we don't know, because none of that information has been brought forward and has uh, been, uh, been transparent. The first 11 years of my professional life, I actually worked for one of the largest chemical companies in the world, Bayer. Trust me, do not trust them. <laughs> the company initially claimed that the chain link fence represented a barrier to groundwater contamination. <laughs> yeah. I understand the, the, the concern being raised by, by residents and, and neighbors of, of this facility. Um, but make no mistake, nobody's off the hook. DEP Commissioner Sean Lazarette has pushed back on those who say BASF has been let off easy. Lazarette says that BASF's commitment to cleaning toxic groundwater and the $100,000 payment are part of ensuring accountability. The first part took place years ago when the DEP took action to hold Sibagaygi accountable, paying well over $300 million over the course of many years to ensure the cleanup. Lazaret acknowledges that the settlement was drafted in secret as part of a process that avoided a lawsuit against BASF. People in Tom's River feel like they've been ignored. They have the power to take this and make this a positive thing in our community. Uh, but we can't do that without all of us having a voice. Are you treating these complaints with transparency and are you treating them with empathy? Once we are in a position to show the community the real benefit of these projects, that we will begin to sow a greater appreciation of what natural resource restoration uh, can provide for the public that we serve. Lazarette says this proposal would save taxpayers money, adding that a lawsuit against BASF could take a decade. In Tom's River, I'm Ted Goldberg, NJ Spotlight News.